It's like if Harry Potter went gangster in a bad way. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Guns Akimbo. I only just saw this now. I know it came out last year. Admittedly, actually, it was released worldwide, sort of, just as the pandemic hit, so it got a lot of VOD. I finally just watched it on Amazon video, and I honestly thought that this was made by the Raka Raka guys. If you guys have never seen their channel, you have to have at least seen some of their videos. One of them in particular being the Game of Thrones versus Lord of the Rings fans video, where they just absolutely destroy this house, killing each other, and just being absolutely hilarious. It's a violent parody channel with very, very impressive visual and special effects for a YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen them, I would definitely highly recommend them. The McDonald's videos are a little weird though, just to forewarn you. Anyways, this film is about Daniel Radcliffe's character who kind of finds himself as a uh, keyboard warrior, but then he gets himself involved with a online black market viral killing deathmatch show, but then he gets put into the games literally with guns nailed to his hands and he finds himself up against Wix, who is the leading champion, and just a bunch of really, really violent shit ensues. This film is actually very funny. There's a lot of really good jokes about the difficulties of what would it be like to have guns attached to your hand. Apparently, Daddy Radcliffe said that when he was reading the script, it was the part where he had to try and figure out how to take a piss with guns attached to his hands, which he was like, yeah, that's what, I, I want to be in this movie. And it's actually very similar to why he did the Swiss Army Man film, because apparently the director told him that the first fart in that film would be funny and the last fart in that film would be sad. Radcliffe takes a lot of very interesting roles. And this one is too, it's a very visual fun film. Some of the films that I was getting vibes from were like Gamer, Crank, but without that high octane cocaine like directing style that those two guys are known for. This one had a very visual style and it kins to that of video game references. And they're not just kind of placeholder references. You can tell that the visual department, the director, knew what they were doing. They're actually being quite literal with their references. This is probably one of the better video game kind of interpretation films, kind of like how The Rock's Jumanji movies are which still boggles my mind. And the visual art style of this film is really good. It's not trying to take itself seriously like the John Wick films. It knows it's not of that caliber, but it does a good style in its own. It does try to be visually entertaining even when some of the low points are happening. There's a lot of pop culture references that some are low hanging fruit, some are actually pretty decent and really spot on in terms of current society. I think that the film is a fun, enjoyable ride once. Afterwards, I really couldn't say it. There's maybe one or two gunfights in this film that were very impressive. I think Wix's first one is actually really well done in terms of choreography, camera work, and whatnot. But otherwise, a cool attempt. But again, it just makes me think of the Raka Raka videos or the Corridor Crew guys. It's just one of those kind of videos but stretched out over an hour and a half. And it's not boring. It's just one of those watch once and you kind of get over it sort of videos, especially with how the film ends too. The film tries to kind of break the mold of the normal sort of cliche of these style of films, but then it kind of contradicts itself and then the ending doesn't make any sense considering what you just saw. So if anyone else is having that issue with the ending, please let me know because I thought the film ended and then it ended again but that second ending doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Otherwise though, it's funny, it's an enjoyable time. I really liked Radcliffe in this film. I liked Samara Weaving as well. I thought she was really cool and it's great to see her in a complete opposite role from that of Ready or Not. I really think that this girl's gonna go places. I think she's got some really good talent under her belt. And again, I, I think it's a funny idea. The fact that the Raka Raka brothers are not associated with this, and this was filmed in New Zealand too, just, I, I don't know how they weren't at any points because there's some stuff that just reminded me, the, particularly the very weird violent gags that happen throughout this film. And there's a few of them. So if you want to watch a violent movie that's got some good humor, some cool visual effects, some cool video game references, but it doesn't really have that much of a story, it, it doesn't have that much of a rewatchability factor, 
I don't know. You could watch it. It's not the worst thing you could do. Anyways, I'm going to give Guns Akimbo a 4 out of 7. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.